Moving on in the bulletin, Bangalore police has now announced a 10 lakh rupee reward for credible information about the accused in last night's bomb blast. The blast, which has been termed as a terror strike, was right in the middle of the metro and has killed one lady. I want to cut across to my colleague uh, Pratibha Raman. She's live with us. Uh, Pratibha, can you get us up to speed with this news break? Well, in fact, right since morning, it's been uh, the NIA team as well as the Bangalore police, which is at work. And if you can actually look at this particular site, this is where the blast took place. And uh, here is where the shrapnels as well as all other materials that were used in this particular IED has been collected. And all of them have been sent to the FSL lab. And in fact, this entire street, all the buildings that have been lining uh, either sides of this particular street, the CCTV footage of each of it has been collected to ensure uh, was there any kind of suspicious movement of any kind and uh, which could add as an additional crucial evidence so that has been uh, the particular uh, uh, line of investigation that has been taking place as uh, as of now and all of them are uh, trying to work in sync to find out what could be uh, the modus operandi of it whether it is uh, uh, it, uh, they do mention that it has uh, uh, some sort of a similarity between the blast that took place in chennai as well as pune Two teams have been sent to each of these places to find out uh, whether that, there could be any kind of evidence that can be collected that could uh, add as an important uh, uh, investigative material here in this particular case. And uh, apart from that, also a 10 lakh rupees uh, uh, amount that has been announced uh, in terms of any kind of crucial evidence as well as information that can be given to them in terms of uh, nabbing okay. the culprits here. All right, thank you, Pratibha, for joining us. Uh, back with you soon for further updates on that story. Meanwhile, we move on uh, to the other set of breaking news uh, that we are getting in. Well, this is, of course, 10 lakh reward for information on Bangalore Blast. Uh, Pratibha Raman getting us up to speed with the latest on that. Moving on now in the bulletin, speaking on the blast in Bangalore last evening, Home Minister Rajnath Singh condemned the terror strike. He said that intelligence alert was in fact given to the state government and if need arises, the NIA will be called in to investigate. Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya said that Bangalore police and the NIA are working together, all angles being looked into. Yesterday in Bangalore, there was a low intensity blast. And this is where we condemn it. वहीं पर जो ही इसकी जानकारी प्राप्त हुई तुरंत मैंने कर्नाटक के चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब से बात की और उनको मैंने कहा कि सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के किसी भी प्रकार के लिए असिस्टेंस की आवश्यकता है तो वह असिस्टेंस हम प्रोवाइड करने को पूरी तरह से तैयार हैं और इस घटना के संबंध में भी कर्नाटक के चीफ मिनिस्टर से मैंने जानकारी हासिल की है और अभी वहाँ पर बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन को जो है इसमें हमारी जो इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज हैं उसको वह कलेक्ट कर रही हैं और सीधे कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट के साथ भी हम लोगों की बातचीत हो रही है आगे क्या कदम उठाना मैं समझता हूं कि विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सारी इंफॉर्मेशन कलेक्ट हो जाने के बाद हम अपनी स्ट्रेटेजी आगे की तय करेंगे Will NIA take this case or Bangalore police will take no, this case? No, no, our police people will uh, investigate and they will coordinate with the NIA so special and the uh, central uh, and the government. The special, special team is already formed. Already formed. Multi special teams are formed, a major team is also formed. Uh, in the Bangalore case, uh, since the other case is also being uh, handled by NIA, so right. there is a possibility and it will be convenient for NIA to take over this also, but for that, a uh, meeting has to be called. Uh, because now there will be a briefing and uh, if necessary, uh, Home Minister will take a decision.